defeat for Kaiser Chiefs against Sundowns in the race for the APSA Premiership title. It's now neck and neck, 1-0. Um, I'm with Ivan from Football Stalkers, and he's wearing the worst colours in the world. Um, my guy, how, uh, are you smiling? I mean, you can, I was on your channel earlier, and uh, you sabotaged me with a barrage of Sundown supporters. And it didn't make me feel any better about the night. How are you feeling? What do you think of the in game? My, in my defense, the, <clears throat> there was a panel of chief supporters that were supposed to be there. And <laughs> unfortunately, uh, the result meant that um, they ghosted us and they didn't want to <laughs> face the music. I was the only one. I was the only one. No, no, it, it, it was um, yourself, Lady, Lady Q. And Chucky. And... No, no, no. Oh, he he tried to come on, but he he left. I don't know if maybe it was connection problems. Yeah. Um, and then um, Tabiso El was there as well. Okay. Um, I know Alex. Alex did did mm. uh, send his Alex. A, a, a but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was tweeting the whole time, and then they were giving him such crap because he's like, ah, you said you don't have data, but uh, you have data to make tweets. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> let's let uh, let's talk about the game. Let's get into the game. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Your feelings are, as a neutral. Let's 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 keep it neutral. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll stay neutral. Look, I'll say this. Um, Sanon's first half outplayed Kaiser Chiefs. Mm. Um, in in the first, I would say the first eight minutes or so, mm. you 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 kind of then saw the game plan from a Chiefs perspective. You're like, okay, so they're gonna try and high press. Sometimes from from avoiding them from building up from the back, which for me was a good idea. Mm. But then it was something that you know I'll I'll use Liverpool as an example, Mish. Liverpool, their high press, ne? It's something that um, they do all season. It's not something mm. they implement one game because yes. the intensity required to high press ninety minutes, it's so much that when you look at that, you're like, okay, so this high press, I can say it's not going to last because the, the players are not trained to do that 90 minutes. It's something mm. that you're doing for this game. Mm. And, and secondly, you know, we spoke about the middle field. You know, I question, you know, it's good that Middendorp has faith in a youngster to play. Mm. But it also raises the eyebrows as well in saying, if you are brave enough to play a player on the wing, why are you then not brave enough to play Ngobo next to Katsande? Why are you not brave enough to play Bakas, who they specialize in those positions? And yet, yeah. use a, a right back, Frostler, as a middle fielder. And then you're like, what's going on with that? When you've got players who are sitting on the bench, because essentially, look, Mish, you've got yeah. Kombole, you've got Safima, you've got Safima, I've got it right. Sifama, yeah? Sifama. Sifama. So you've got Sifama, Sifama you've got Mbole, you've got, let's say, Parker. Mm. All playing players. Mm. And you think that, let me complement these players by putting a middle field that is also capable at playing the ball. Whether it's Njangazi, whether, and you also have Manyama, whether it's Njangazi, whether it's... Zuma, Parker, we also have Zuma who changed Zuma, the game yeah. in the second mm. half. Exactly. Again, you know, the youngster, why is he playing in front of Zuma, Billiard, and all those? So there are, there's a lot of question marks about the lineup. And, you know, one thing about Middendorf this season with the big games is that he got it spot, spot on in the Soweto derby, in the first game against Sundowns. But, you know, you're looking at that lineup and you're thinking to yourself, okay, I thought initially Manyama was going to play alongside uh, Katande. Hmm. But when you watch the game, you're like, wait, he's a winger. Is playing alongside Katande. Exactly. I, I don't understand either. I didn't, I, I'm so confused. Like, I wanted to ask you about the lineup also. I'm going to get into it. I was baffled. I mean, I'm sure every other fan is just as confused about what was going on in the defense, in the midfield, how you were set up. Because um, even Sifama, I, I generally, is a striker, but he was playing as a winger today. Uh, and then, yeah, the Frostler thing, I don't understand. He's like such a good winger. 
and then you got him in the center with Katande. Tell me, tell me more, yeah. So another thing, man, you know, you look at let's say Sunlands without the ball, obviously they, they do have a low block. They're very mm. compact. Mm. Uh, with with wingers supporting their full backs. Now, I'm looking at from the first half now. We'll come back to the second half. From the first half. Now, you're looking at Safima, who he was always Sifama. alone. Mm. Safama. So, I'm sorry, Safama. Um, I'll get it right. Safama. Mm. Ne? He was always alone. Mm. So, Thanos' defense could double up on him. Mm. So, there was never support from either Sassman or... So, he was always alone. And then I'm thinking, I'm like, this is a big game. Yeah. You're playing against a team that's experienced, especially when it comes to chasing for the title. Yeah. And how do you then think that this 17-year-old... Mm. I mean, we saw as the game progressed, you're like, okay, maybe you would have thought that because of his pace, you know, he's young, so he's going to be courageous, he's going to take them on and mm. all that. But, but, you know... I mean, you've got Zuma, man. You've got Billy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, the experience. Lineup. Zuma is an ex. Even though he's young, he's still got more experience than Sifama. And this game, I felt, was too big for Sifama. And to and for and it's too big for Middendorp to start experimenting. You experiment against um, Polokwane. You experiment in 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 the Nedbank Cup against a TS Galaxy. You don't ex- experiment against you know, Sundowns. You know. That's not who you're you know experimenting another, against. You know what's another thing? Um, I think Miran Dob, he conceded the game as well. You know, you know when I think Miran Dob conceded the game is when he subbed Katsande. I was like, mm. the, fact, the fact that you're playing against your direct rival mm. and you need a win or a draw at least, right? Yeah. Essentially, you don't need to lose. Hmm. Now, you care more about the next game than you're thinking, I don't want Katsade to get a yellow card. And, and I'm like, I think you need to look at this as a coach and say, look, Katsade is on three yellow cards. Whether I spare him on this game or the next one, it's almost as if it's, a, it's an inevitable thing. It's going to happen anyway. And rather have him on this game, hmm. get the result that you require against hmm. your direct rival. Then you can deal with how you miss Katande in the next game and you play a game. But I do you understand then sub it. Katande. Yes, it you, doesn't you make any Katande. sense to me. He's the captain, you sub him, you put a gay in there, but a gay is not a creative player. Mm-hmm. Who is there to support a gay in because yes, you put in Zuma. He's Zuma is a winger. He's not a threat you, either. You a, yeah, you put in you put in billiard, you put in but who is the creative player? in that middle of the park, who's going to be the one passing? Bakas is still on the bench. Novo is still on the bench. What is going on? Mm. Just, um, the other thing also like um, the, the, that made me more upset also is just we were awful in possession today. Every time we got the ball, we kept losing it. We didn't know what to do with it. Kicking it up, just wishing for things to happen, passing it to the opposition. So that's where we also lost the game. We lost it uh, with in possession. You know, we can't, we cannot expect to play a game against Sundowns and not keep the ball. They're just gonna punish us, you know. And then we saw also the our errors in defense that led to the goal. Um, you guys did well to beat the the, the counter attack, and at the same time, not counter attack, the trap, the offside trap. At the same time, Cardozo's napping at the back. Instead of watching where Serino is, everybody was ball watching that amazing flick from Zwane. It's, it's, uh, it was a good goal, yes. But again, your defense is our defense was just shambles. And then comes uh, then the other opportunity from Bernard Parker. You know that was our chance to the game could have been in our favor earlier on. Parker mm. should have scored or should have taken the opportunity instead he squares it and passes it to Sifama or Kambule. For no, like he was all alone, take the shot. A man who was so experienced, you know. Mm. Uh, and another guy said it's down to lack of confidence. Do our players lack the confidence that we need to win the title? 
Mish, I'll, I'll take you back to the Stellenbosch game, the Bloemfontein Celtics game. Hmm. We, we spoke about the game plan. I, I was questioning the game plan. And hmm. I said, you know, w- with Nokovic, with Castro, it was able to sustain you thus far. And obviously, it's too late now to change. Hmm. But the game plan seems to be the problem because... Mesh, if we, you know, whether you term it as a plan B or what, but, you know, you can't tell me that Sundance in the second half decided to defend Mm. because Sundance was playing very well and they could have easily continued playing the same way they in the second half. Instead, they chose to say, we're going to soak up the pressure. Mm. Even that, the whole 45 minutes of soaking up pressure, Mm. how many shots on target? So, uh, who, uh, from Sundowns or Chiefs? From Chiefs. Oh, a few. So, it's, it's, it's one of those things, what is the game plan? I mean, look, everybody's confused about the tactics, the subs, what is going on. Players are playing, are playing off positions and all those. And, you know, you guys have ball-playing players. Kambole is mm. a ball-playing player. Kamabele, Zuma, mm. Mobo. Barkers, Manyama, these are ball playing players. And for some reason, these players don't know what to do. I saw a team in the second half that didn't know what to do, except passing the ball around each other on the mm. wings and putting it in. Pass around, put the crosses in. Pass around. That was it. Mm. There was never a the, 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 the Zuma chance. Yeah. It was an individual brilliance. Mm. It wasn't from the play or anything. Zuma decided alone. Yeah. I'm going through. Yeah. That was it. Mm. There was never a one, two. They're all over the place, man. But also, you gotta, you, you, you gotta, you gotta give it up to Sundowns. I mean, they came to, 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 to you know, play a much deeper game than they usually do, and you guys did. And we didn't know how to, to deal with that. And, and if you watch closely, I mean, every time one of the Chiefs players got the ball in your half, three men surrounded him. As soon as that ball got passed, another three men were around that guy. So you guys did amazingly to keep us out. So, But you see, that's why... I just say we didn't come with... We just didn't know how to deal. You guys won tactical battle. Yeah, that's why that's why you know I'll touch a little bit on on Stellenbosch. Now this is again is playing into the people know how Chiefs play. Mm. Okay, we're gonna put in it's just that I forgot his surname, that that white guy from Stellenbosch. They put that mm. guy in, he was the clearing guy. Whenever he got the ball, he cleared the ball. Mm. You guys didn't trouble him. Yeah. Right? That was the game plan. Game plan Celtics. Every time outside the box, Celtics players didn't concede any fouls. Hmm. They were just there putting bodies behind the player and the ball, and that was it. Yeah. Now, coming today, you know, Mish, if, if, let's say, for instance, in your upcoming games, Vets and all those, hmm. if these teams decide to park the bus, because, again, Mirindop was complaining about Stellenbosch parking the bus, essentially. Yeah. Now, if teams going to park the bus... Put in capable people in that center of that 18 area to deal with the aerial ball. Mm. What is then she's gonna do? How do you, how are you gonna unlock the defense? Because in every model or formation or whatever, it's the onus is on you, especially as a big team like Kazuchi's, the onus mm. is on you to unlock. Because, yeah. like for instance, from a Sano's perspective, teams with Sano's going to dames, assuming that these teams would wanna defend. Mm. So it's the onus is on Sundowns to unlock the team and win the game. Now the question is, what is Chiefs doing to unlock the other teams on score? Because apart from the error balls, that's it. There's no, again, Mesh, I'll come back to Noble, such a talent. Mm. I'll come to Bacchus. I'll come to Manyama, Billiard. You know, you've got ball-playing players who are essentially creative. They can given a certain system mm. but it seems to be 
like you say, it's almost as if there's instruction from the coach. This is how we play, not this other stuff. We just going to play this way. Mm. And at this point on, it's not working because you've been dropping points. Apart from the Polokwane City, you've been dropping points. Mm. All right. So that's the thing now. Three, three matches left. Wits, Baroka, Bar- Wits, Chipa, Baroka. How does a team like Chiefs pick their heads up after this? I mean, this was draining to see the least. Um, how, and knowing that Sundowns, their confidence is skyrocketing now because they think and they know that they can win this league now. How does a team like Chiefs pick up their head? How does Middendorf? Because now it's all down to the manager. The manager has to pick, has to, it's, all, it's, it's kind of like the team is there, the skill is there. It's down to the manager now and his inspiration. What inspiration? Is there anything inspirational about Menendok? How can he inspire these players to go all the way? Three points, three points, nine points. You get those nine points across, and get us across the finish line. How how does Middendorf do that? My, 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 my question my question to you, Mish, is from that squad, I'm gonna count players that won the league. Kama Billiard, Bennett Parker, Itumilian Kune, Willard Katande, Eric Matoko. These players have won the league before. So I can say that they know what it takes to win the league. Mm. So the question is, where's the leadership from these players? Because you, you asked the question about motivation, but these players, these senior players, are also there to motivate the team as well, to say, guys, let's push. Mm. We're at the finish line. Mm. So... It, I didn't look, see that today, though. So how are we going to see that, them in like the next three games? I didn't see any of that. that that's, why, that's why, Mitch, I'm saying... I don't know, um, even the coach after the match, he, he is, was very despondent. Mm. Uh, very, uh, look, he looked really irritated. Didn't even want to have that post-match interview. Mm. Um, so, is he going to be shouting at them? Mm. Or is he going to be motivating them that they, you guys can still win it? Mm. We don't know what's happening behind it. But I don't know, Mish. But I'm getting the feeling that it's it's almost like you guys are spiraling down at the moment. Um, it, it's 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 not because mm. look, never mind, never mind, Sanos. Look, you know, Sanos supporters have been complaining about the way Sanos is performing these couple of games. Mm. Mm. But look at the games that you guys played since coming back, Mish. Mm. Doesn't seem like a team that is winning the league. Mm. The comeback you had against Polokwane City, it was because of one man who inspired the comeback. Nokovic. Mm. He was fighting. Mm. He was fighting. You guys got back in the game. That game you were losing, Mesh. Yeah. So, I don't know. Honestly, something is wrong at Kaiser Chiefs. Mm. Um, and I asked, I asked Lady Q, I'm like, does, does she think that whether you guys win the league or not, does she see Middendorp staying at Kaiser Chiefs? I asked one of the other guys the same question. What do you think? Are you asking me or should I ask you the question? Uh, Is it need, hashtag can, Middendorp can, out? You answer because my answer is he's definitely going. And I get that that's, what, that's the feeling. In 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 um, that's the feeling I'm getting from him. He knows his time is up, and so he he doesn't know how to inspire any confidence in his own players, and that's why it's almost like oh well, whatever. I mean, one of the uh, I think um, Hunter said he thinks the club is already looking for a successor. I think they've been. We've, we've had this conversation with before. We remember when I mentioned remember when I mentioned this other time 
uh, Merendorp's interview and he spoke about how there were forces within the club yes. that were against him and stuff. Yes. I think it started then. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably one can say it started in Durban, TX Galaxy. I think it started yes. then. Yes, yes. Um, so, look, um, never mind she's looking for a coach. I think he's also looking for employment because there were rumor. <laughs> You, you remember? You remember? I asked. I asked about what is going on with a coach that is a log leader, but yet there's reports about him being sacked end of the season. There's there's reports him being linked to him coaching Ajax Cape Town and Gavin and all Hunt. That. And like, the story is about Gavin Hunt coming to Chiefs as well. Exactly, and I'm like, but this is this is very strange. A mm. team that is leading. And yet, the club is looking for a coach. The coach is looking for employment. It's fishy. It's very fishy. But I, I, I'm just, I'm just, I just want to see the season through. Um, I hope we get the nine points we need. Um, I don't know how or what's going to inspire this team, but the players also need to either look to each other. If they can't find it in the coach, then they need to look to each other and inspire each other. But anyway, brother, Ish. Um, who is your man of the match quickly and then you can wrap this up now? From Chiefs, first half, I would say Frosla was man of the match. Mm-hmm. Second half, Zuma was man of the match. Um, yeah, those, they, 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 they tried. Uh, it, mm-hmm. it's, it's interesting how I didn't see Katsanda in the first half at all. Mm-hmm. He, was, he was never present. Uh, Matoho, he was troubled a lot of times. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cardoso was troubled. Sasman tried. Mm. Um, he, he played a better game. M- mm. Muleko, absent. Didn't see him. Mm. Um, Kambole, absent. 100%. Mm. Um, no effect to the game at all. Mm. Uh, and Manyama as well. He was trying, but I think since coming back, Manyama is not the same player. Mm. Yeah, you've got a lot of players that are underperforming. Yeah, and from Sundowns, who would you give your, your man of the match award to? I would go with Meza. Meza was giving Chiefs mm. defense a problem. Yeah. Uh, if not Meza, I would give Serino. Um, mm. if, if it wasn't for the sub, the defensive sub by Beetle, Serino was giving Chiefs a problem. Yeah, um, definitely. So I'll, 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 I'll stick to Meza. Meza had a phenomenal game today. Mm. And Serino. All right. Thanks, Ivan. Uh, just to let the people know where they can follow you and Football Stalkers, man, where they can find you. Yeah, man. Look, uh, Football Stalkers, you can find us on YouTube. Uh, please subscribe and uh, turn on the notification as well. Comment, uh, have mm-hmm. your say on the game. Um, and uh, yeah, you can find us on Instagram, Football Stalkers, Facebook, Football Stalkers, and Twitter, Football Stalkers. That's us. Awesome, brother. Thank you so much. See you at the next game. Good luck, man. All right, man. We'll chat. All right. Thanks, Ivan. Cheers. You're watching Amakosi for live. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Amakosi for live. And give us a like on Facebook.